Welcome to my video. Before continuing, ensure you have a solid internet connection. We wouldn't want you going offline now. Real quick, before we start, I wanted to announce this season's viewing pass. Deck out your viewing experience with free items, and if you purchase the premium viewing pass, you can unlock the actually good items. Act fast before this pass expires. Considering you stumbled upon this video, I'm going to recommend you a terrible one next just to balance out your skill base. Before we start, Control check out this video's microtransactions. And while you're store, here, be sure to get our new for you, Dorito colored Locker skin. Make sure that's right, ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. The new the skin of skin 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 skin. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. To just maybe fill that void with pointless consumption. Until then, as always, we at Nikos Media LLC hope you enjoy your controlled experience our way. Unfinished games, broken buggy experiences, battle passes and live service messes, disaster launches and profit-hungry corporations, skill-based matchmaking, and pointless sequels to seal the deal. Nearly every multiplayer shooter and franchise we grew up with is a broken, buggy, and unfinished mess in modern iterations. Very few AAA developers are immune to the curse of this so-called modern gaming. Yes siree. Mainstream gaming has certainly entered a bit of a dark age. Us gamers truly are an oppressed class. Everything is terrible, and gaming will never return to greatness. Yeah, I just summed up like most recent video game essays in the past 30 seconds. But in a day where modern gaming has never felt more dismal and lonely, these two indie hits have brought friends and strangers together. Doomers out there are quick to point out that this modern gaming plague has no end in sight and that this inevitable fate for the entertainment industry will only continue to get worse. Yet these two indie hits stand as successful projects that put modern AAA products to shame, and are likely a sign of a turning point for modern gaming. Palworld World is the most absurd game I've ever played, a world full of adorable creatures and beautiful landscapes. However, under the surface is a morally questionable Geneva Convention breaking experience. Why are they all running? Why are they all running from you? God damn it! Zeus! Bro, it's a Vixie. Hang on, let me make some... <laughs> no, no, don't beat him! Don't hit him! Oh. <laughs> When this game was revealed at the Game Awards, not many took interest. However, upon release, come late January, Palworld took the internet by storm. Before we go on, I need to mention how funny the name Palworld is. It just sounds like a game title produced by Nickelodeon TV show writers in their late 40s who've never played a game in their lives. I half expect this game to run on the game sphere. And it's spherical! <laughs> spherical! Nevertheless, this early access survival indie game shocked the world by actually being good. Pal World is a survival game similar to Rust and Ark, but it heavily focuses on catching pals across a massive open world. These pals possess elemental traits that suit them for combat against other pals in a form of rock, paper, scissors action. But what's different about the game is pals work around your base committing to chores they are most suited to. Fire pals cook food and smelt metals, electric pals power your heavy machinery, and more. Pal World offers absolute freedom, allowing players to be as cruel as they'd like to their pals as well. You can either be a humane pal tamer and treat the adorable guys with respect and kindness, or be an absolute psychopath. Also, I figured I'd add you can catch humans in the game, to which the game says is inhumane, so this is intentional, and then you can force them to work on your land. I've got some good items in stock. Uh, can't afford Wait, it. Wait, he's level one? Yeah. Don't attack, don't do it. No! No, he's armed, he's got a gun! I want a merchant! I want a merchant! You can capture humans! Have you I not done this? I thought this was a meme. No, it's yes. a literal thing you can yes. do. You I can't kill him. He's happens, my Pokemon. <laughs> what? Are you serious? He knows how to build. Yep. Can you release yeah. him? How do you release him? He doesn't get released. I sell him to the market after. Yeah, this game's going to hell. Then there are guns, which led to the moniker Pokemon with Guns, tightly following Pal World around, and further adding to the absurdity of both this game and the online discourse around it. 
Never mind that you don't actually get guns until like eight hours in. But at least you can arm your pals with guns. Slipping Jimmy with a law degree is like a chimp with a machine gun. <laughs> Also, I figured it'd be worth mentioning that the Japanese developers behind this game mentioned that they added guns to the game to attract an American audience. Nice. Building up your base solo or with friends is a very fun experience, slowly leveling you and your party up as you spread your wings and venture across the diverse world of the Palpagos Islands, hunting rare pals and improving your arsenal. It's hard to describe on paper how addicting and charming this absurd little mess of a game is. Pal World is a game that most expected to be shrugged off and fall into obscurity, and now it's being talked about online in multiple circles in a good light. This is their first mistake. They should have known not to talk about something they enjoyed online. I repeat. As an invasion of Pokemon fans descended upon online discussion of this game, claiming the game was a blatant copy of Pokemon. Twitter warriors began typing real fast on their keyboards while excelling with ferocity. Even some mentally stable individuals decided to send death threats to Pocket Pair, the developers of Pal World. Yeah, I'm not making this up. All hell had broken loose. Couple these damning claims with new accusations of the use of AI art in the game? I wouldn't blame you for thinking Pal World was cooked, but despite this, Player numbers and sales skyrocketed for Pal World as the controversy erupted. This caused the game to go even more viral. Haters doubled down, one of which posted evidence that Pal World ripped Pokemon models for use in their game before admitting that they were lying? Huh? Huh? These angry Pokemon fans continued to throw a fit over the game, valiantly white knighting for their favorite multi-billion dollar company, which had announced that they were now launching an investigation into Pal World. 19 million pal tamers later, and the damage was done. All of this negative press. Even PETA publicly denounced Pal World for animal cruelty. And if PETA hates your game, it's bound to be a success. So, is this game a copy of Pokemon? What about AI art? As for the AI art claims, those have no evidence and were just meant to demonize the game. As for copying Pokemon, at the least, it's obvious Pal World takes inspiration from numerous other games and cobbles them together, most notably Pokemon. The Pals have a similar art style to Pokemon, and even some of their designs are scarily close to Pokemon creature designs. However, as the designs are technically original, and Nintendo and Game Freak's recent Pokemon titles have been lazy and poor quality, the general public chose to not care. When given the option of having fun or defending a multi-billion dollar corporation, everyone chose fun and scrambled to try this absurdly goofy game. Crusty Crab unfair. Short, sweet, and to the point. How about this, Squidward? SpongeBob, it's unfair, not fun fair. A fun fair? Where? Oh, I could go for some fun. At the Krusty Crab. Hey, everybody. Let's go to the fun fair. <laughs> All the outcry, alongside the absurd memes and discussion that praised Pal World, served as millions of dollars worth of free advertisement, making Pal World an overnight viral sensation. But the game is unfinished, buggy, and broken. I mean, look at this mess. Why am I flying? Why am I flying? Wait, I can go anywhere. I can do anything. I have unlimited power. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what am I doing over here? So, so you're in the wall, right? But a kid from the convenience store makes your game. That's what happens. <laughs> yeah, you're still in the wall. No, I've got an idea. Wow. What, if, what if I put a bed here? It's not gonna work. This, this wall is not breakable. Like, this is not okay, bro. <laughs> no, it is not, but I'll get you out of this. You gotta understand I'm the expert at breaking games. Yeah, I feel like that guy in 28 days, right? When the guy gets caught in a rock, it's not for right now. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna have you take all my guys. I'm gonna have you take all my guys, alright? No, not yet. Not, 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 not yet. I right. can't. Only when all hope is lost, okay? In order to place a bed, I need a wood foundation. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Come on, bro. I'm doing help. everything help. I can. I know, bro. I need help, bro. I'm doing everything. Every... Here's the bed. Alright, right All right. hit hit up. Help me build this I bed. Build. I can build through a wall. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Dude, it has to work. work. My it hope's has been gone. to work. <laughs> How long have you been down there? <laughs> I lost track of time. Alright, ready? Dude! Oh my god. 
<laughs> I told you. Am I out of it, work. though? Yeah, you're out of it. You're out. I told you oh it would work. But gamers did not seem to care about that either, as thanks to modern gaming, the mainstream slop produced by mega corporations simply pushed consumers too far, who took their dollars and time elsewhere to a game focused on pure fun. Literally, this has got to be some hell we're waking up in. Like, if I was told in 2014 that the biggest game would be an unfinished early access game full of bugs and glitches, dude. Regardless, PAL World features no microtransactions or uninspired mechanics, and instead focuses on leaving freedom and enjoyment to the players. With all the internet discussion casting a spotlight on PAL World, disillusioned consumers had a place to run to. What's most shocking about PAL World's surprise success is that this is the second game within a few months that took the internet by storm and humiliated mainstream franchises. Similar to PAL World, Lethal Company burst onto the scene thanks to countless viral videos and memes that served as free advertisement. Once again, a game with no predatory monetization had focused purely on fun. Made by a single Roblox furry, Lethal Company offered a uniquely terrifying co-op horror experience that was consistently hilarious. The game featured an immersive proximity voice chat feature, where your friends' voices fade out far behind you as you push deep into dark hallways, searching for scrap to sell back to your company. Bracken? Oh, Bracken, Bracken boy. Right, uh, that's check. a big room though. That probably has loot in it. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. she lost stuff there. Load. Oh, she's messing with my hair. Oh. Yeah, everything just gets like really distant. Oh shit, Jester! <laughs> Flash out. I got it. I got it. I got it. Quick. I'm doing what I can. Train. Quick, quick. Why are you? Oh my god, you made it. This voice chat, coupled with liberal amounts of tension builds capped off by jump scares, turns every round of Lethal Company into a 90 second horror movie. Upon the game's launch in late 2023, numerous clips flooded TikTok and YouTube. These went absolutely viral, coupling horror and comedy together. As Lethal Company, underneath its unassuming PlayStation-esque graphics, is one of the funniest and scariest games I've played in recent years. I'd be willing to define Lethal Company as a horror comedy game at this rate. I'm not a bad person, it's just genuinely funny watching my friends die to landmines. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to these clips and a consistently hilarious and addictive gameplay loop, the game sold millions, to the point where this small indie project outsold Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 2 on Steam for a time, of which received an unprecedented 4 out of 10 on IGN, which is huge as IGN passes out 7s and 8s like Christmas cookies. Even critics aren't buying this slop anymore. Lethal Company, much like PAL World, became a stunning viral sensation. Both hits now top the Steam charts together, putting multi-billion dollar wastes of time to shame. The indie gaming genre had been climbing in popularity steadily since modern gaming took root. And now... Wait, what happened to the video? We ran out of budget. All right, I gotta think of something fast. Uh, I I got it. I got it. I'm. We're gonna release it. The video's uh early access. It's in beta. We'll just say the video's in beta, right? And then uh, I'm gonna throw the microtransaction stores up right now. So go check those up. The stores are fully operational. While. I finished this video, uh, so stay tuned for season six. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, season six, I should have the video conclusion done, and uh, uh, yeah, uh, I'll see you on the next one. Okay, bye.